Hello and a very warm welcome. I'm joined by a distinguished individual who has won five Master Series awards in the six tournaments that he has featured at the under-19 level. And he's going strong this time around too as he's led his team to the under-19 Cricket World Cup final. Sami Aslam, it's a pleasure having you and I see a smile on your face and I know the reason behind it. You've made it to the championship match. How is the feeling? It's a really great feeling for me and for any individual uh, entering into the final is uh, really means a lot. And as a World Cup is the most uh, important tournament in the life of a youngster, so I think it's a very good moment in my life. But it started on a grim note, you lost to India. How difficult was it to uh, make a comeback, pick yourself up and then now you're in the final? Our morale was not let down after the first match. We played well, well in the first match also. But I think uh, at some important time we lost the wickets. But I think we carry on the momentum and won the games in the group matches. And uh, we played really well in the quarter-final also. And it was, it was a thrilling match in the semi-final. And now we, are, we have come to the final. And it's really exciting feeling to play the final now. Talking of that quarter-final, it was a special performance from you. And you elected to bat on a pitch which was far from conducive for batting. What was the plan? Yeah, the management and our plan was there that it's a pressure game, so we have we have to put a good total on the board because chase is also uh, is always a uh, difficult in a pressure game. So we we played with our thought that we have to keep wickets in our hand, and we were uh, successful, and we made a very good total in that match, and we won that match. And after that, the last four, you are up against England. Uh, you get them out for 204, then lose seven wickets with still a lot to do. Uh, does that reflect the mental strength of this team that they chase that down in the end? Yeah, of course, uh, chasing runs in semi-final is always a pressure game. And uh, our play, uh, me and some players played some bad shots. But after that, uh, two middle order players played really well. And then finally, Zafar Gohar and Ahmad Bhatt, who, who are the all-rounders in the team played at traffic innings and I think it reflects that they are mentally very strong. Now it's been around five years since there has been any international cricket in Pakistan. How difficult it is for youngsters like you to remain motivated? Yeah, it affects a lot I think because no cricket in the home affects a lot. So we, we will not get home cricket and uh, some players will not get a chance to represent their country. So I think it affects. Most fast bowlers from Pakistan have said that table cricket has helped them a lot. Does it help in batting as well? Yeah, it helps batsmen at some specific areas and I think it's uh, useful at certain areas of batting. I think for the short pitch ball, balls, not all the balls. So you, so you should pay, play table cricket and in Pakistan I think every boy play table cricket. Who do you idolize? Um, I like Saeed Anwar for his uh, wristy strokes and he's very aggressive, so I love watching him. And is he the person you've based your batting on as well because you, we've seen a lot of shades in the way uh, you, you approach your batting? I play, I play with my uh, style but I, I don't uh, copy any player but I love seeing him, uh, the way he plays is very good. Now you have won five Master Series awards in the six tournaments that you've played. What makes you so consistent? I love batting and scoring runs, so when I enter into the field as an opener, uh, that plan is uh, in, a, in my mind is there that I have to bat throughout the innings. So that's the way that I have been successful. As an opener, uh, what kind of responsibilities that you feel when you go out to bat? Yeah, uh, I think the pressure is there. If I say that there is no pressure, it's wrong. The pressure is there as and as a captain, when you enter into the field as an opener, the pressure is there because the opener base, uh, set the base up of the team. So I think you have to, there is a lot of expectation on you that you have to make a runs on the board. Apart from cricket, what are your passions? Yeah, I love uh, swimming and apart from it, I, uh, I used to watch movies, uh, listening to the songs. Coming from Lahore, which is famous for its food, are you a foodie yourself? Yeah, I, I love to eat different type of foods and biryani is my favourite. 
You are growing up in an era of three different formats, the Test Cricket, the One Dayers as well as the T20s. How difficult is it to adjust between the three? I think for a good player, uh, it's not difficult. He, he has to adjust with, with the present era. It's difficult, sometimes it's difficult to adjust in Tests and T20, there is a lot of difference. But I think it's adjustable. But for a good player, I think he has to adjust in the three formats. And finally, if Pakistan are crowned champions, what would it mean to you and the team? I think it's, it will be a great honour for me and the whole country that uh, you, you have to, in any format, winning the World Cup means a lot. For every Pakistani and for our team, it's a great achievement which can't be described in words. So I think it will be a really fantastic feeling for me. Thanks a lot, Sami, for staying with us and good luck for the championship match. Thank you very much. And that's all we have on this interesting chat with the captain of Pakistan who will be playing the final of the ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.